How do you write subtext in a scene? The 1994 action comedy film True Lies, written and directed by James Cameron, tackles this in a scene between Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Harry Tasker, and Bill Pullman's car salesman character named Simon. As a general story overview, we follow Harry Tasker, who is a secret agent working from the Omega Sector, a top secret U.S. counterterrorism agency. He's also a family man, but his wife Helen and daughter Dana are not aware of his secret agent life. When the film kicks off, we learn that Harry is constantly preoccupied with the pressures of his work, so his family life, including his marriage with Helen, is getting neglected. When he suspects that Helen might be having an affair with a car salesman named Simon, Harry goes undercover as a prospective car buyer to find out the truth. This is the lead up to the scene that we'll explore for its use of subtext. What makes the scene work so well in regards to subtext is that Harry and the car salesman Simon are on different wavelengths as the scene progresses. They have conflicting scene objectives. Harry wants to get Simon to confess that he's having an affair with Helen, or at least to confess some truth that sheds light on what Helen is doing with Simon. And for Simon, his objective is to sell an expensive car to Harry by boasting about his own sexual exploits and how the car is part of his seduction strategy. During this scene, Simon has no idea that Harry is a secret agent, so there is an added layer of contrast where Simon pretends to be a man of mystery, while Harry is the real deal. If we start breaking the scene down and looking at its big broad story beats, the scene kicks off with Simon driving the car while Harry rides in the front passenger seat. Simon confides in Harry that the Corvette is more of a show-off than anything else. He even says that the car doesn't handle that well. This is a subtle cue to the nature of both characters and the scene playing out. Neither Simon nor Harry are what they initially seem on the surface. Next, Simon starts to rope Harry in by broadly bragging about his seduction strategy, but initially without getting into details. What's really happening here is that Harry is trying to press in and find out what's happening between Simon and Helen. Meanwhile, Simon just thinks Harry is a curious customer. Simon is exerting himself, trying to show off and display his seemingly alpha male qualities by teasing to give seduction advice to Harry. Then, as Harry and Simon eat a meal next to the car, Simon launches into describing his seduction strategy. He tries to create a fantasy, a sense of danger, for the women he's pursuing to break them out of their mundane lives. Harry is playing along, pretending that he's interested in learning about the seduction strategy, but he only really cares about finding out what Simon and Helen are up to. When Harry asks what about their husbands, he's digging deeper into Simon and trying to find out if Simon is having an affair with Helen. Simon goes on to insult the husbands of the women he's seducing, and Harry mockingly laughs along, but we can see that he's getting increasingly annoyed. And then the scene cuts to Harry driving the car as Simon sits in the front passenger seat. Harry is driving much faster than Simon, and this clues us into his mental state as he is getting more agitated. We also know that Harry has a secret agent background, so he's also familiar with driving cars in high-speed chases with high technical skill. Simon doesn't know any of this, so he cautions Harry to slow down a bit at the top of this story beat. As the scene progresses, Harry plays it relatively cool, asking questions in a monotonous way that contrasts with Simon's lewd nature. Harry asks who Simon is seducing now, and Simon starts to talk about Helen. Harry baits Simon to talk further about Helen by getting Simon to get into locker room talk, lewdly talking about Helen's physique. The camera zooms in on Harry's face as he hears Simon prattle on, and this causes Harry to snap where he smashes Simon in the face. But we learn in an edit that the smashing action is actually playing in Harry's head. In reality, Harry drives the car back to Simon's car lot and expertly maneuvers the car into a parking slot with a spin tactic worthy of a secret agent. Harry has kept his cool and not revealed his endgame to Simon, but he got the information he thinks he was looking for, which is that Helen is having an affair with this sleazy car salesman. Harry's determined look at the end of the scene suggests that this is an emotional setup to a later scene where he will corner and confront Simon. So overall, the subtext of the scene makes use of Harry's background as a secret agent through his investigative skills and driving tactics while establishing a relational connection between him and Simon that will pay off later. The subtext of the scene builds on Harry's arc throughout the film as he eventually has to reconcile the differences between his work life and his family life, leading to him confronting Helen and confessing the true nature of his job to her.